Welcome to another session of Breath of Fire Circle Wednesdays. I am Breath Master Aaron Mockley, your global community elder, bringing to you the opportunity to gain vitality, strength, and stamina through the breath. I share with you these simple techniques so that you can enrich your life with simplicity in a very dynamic way. The breath is life. So you can change everything in your life by changing the way you breathe. I'm sharing with you different breathing patterns, simple technique, breath of fire, and variations. You can get more information and learn more if you want to by signing up for the Breath Master Certification which will allow you to not only master your breath, but it, to be able to help others do the same. If you know anyone with asthma, anyone with anxiety, anyone with stress, anyone with high blood pressure, anybody with any type of health impairment, maybe even yourself, the breath will help shift that issue. So. We're gonna start slow, follow along, and let me say this, breathing exercises are not thinking exercises. We're not here to exercise the mind. We're here to exercise the internal workings of the body. We're not exercising large muscle groups. We're not even really exercising many small muscle groups. We're exercising organs. We're exercising the lungs, we're exercising all of the digestive organs because in this process they receive more oxygen and they get a gentle tap 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 to kind of massage them and bring more energy into them so they, they can do their job more dynamically. So breath work is internal work. It allows for meditation. It facilitates your the expansiveness of your spirit. And I like to say it gets you into your body so you can get out of your mind and into your spirit. So say that with me y'all. The breath gets me into my body, out of my mind, and into my spirit. This is a subtle but very dynamic thing that happens that allows you to reshape who you are and to become more of who you are supposed to be as a spiritual being walking around in this physical body. So the breath of fire technique, I always start with the breath master technique. There are two aspects of the breath master technique. There's the inhalation and then there's the exhalation that uses two ancient techniques. One is called tongue placement. That's for the inhalation. You place the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth and you curl it back. Your mouth is closed. Your mind is not engaged. You are physically moving your body, not your mind. So you don't have to think about getting it right. You just follow the instructions and do exactly what I say. And you will be doing it right. So place the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Curl it back gently. Allow the jaws to soften. Then you inhale through the nostrils and allow the abdomen to expand first. You find your chest is lifting first, then you want to realign and allow the abdomen to expand first and then the chest. Then we get into the breath of fire, which is an even swap, rapid paced breath. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale quickly like that. And the same amount that you inhale, same amount of oxygen you inhale is the same amount of oxygen, ex, excuse me, of carbon dioxide you're going to exhale. And you're going to inhale, excuse me, we're going to exhale from your gentle thrust from the abdomen. Now after you exhale, you relax the abdomen and automatically it creates a vacuum and starts to pull air in. So you're going to gently assist that with a light, assist that inhalation with a light sniff. Mm. 
once we've concluded however many breath master techniques excuse me, breath of fire we're going to do we're going to end with the last part of the breath master technique which is known as the cleansing breath in, in yoga which we just open our mouth wide for full oval and we exhale making a hot sound and it's a slow gradual long extended And as you're doing that, you're going to feel the abdomen contract because it takes your abdominal muscles to make that sound. And that is the last syllable. The sound is actually the last syllable, last sound, last syllable in the sound of the letter H. So, let's go. And also, so that you can really know that your feeling of the breath is moving when you exhale let's put our hands right here slightly below shoulder height and elbows resting in our bodies so that when we exhale the air from our nostrils hits the palms of our hands or our wrists so let's go let's go Place the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, curl it back, inhale gently, allowing the abdomen to expand. We don't want to get our lungs all the way full, but two thirds, three quarters of the way full. We're going to go into the breath of fire. Starting gently, so we know what it feels like in the abdomen with that gentle thrust. And we know what it feels like with that gentle assistance and that light sniff on the inhalation. Now, in, in this part, it doesn't matter whether your tongue is still to the roof of your mouth or not, because you're using the, the nostrils as far as the inhalation and exhalation is, is concerned. Mine isn't there because I'm talking. I should say, give an instruction. Complete the exhalation, open in the mouth and exhaling with up. Now I counted 90 breaths, so if you were flowing with me, that you, did, you just did about 90 breaths with the breath of fire. So let's, let's try that again. Place the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back nice and gently. Begin, breath of fire. Mouth is closed. Exhaling out and in through the nostrils. Notice my abdomen. You all should be doing the same.
Complete the exhalation on the final breath. Now on that last breath, on that last exhalation, I want you to fully extend that exhalation and really allow the abdominal muscles to contract and to tighten. This time we're going to do 90 once again, and we do the when we do the last final exhalation, we're going to exhale and we're going to squeeze as much as we can the abdominal muscles and exhaust as much carbon dioxide as possible. Then we're going to hold our breath so we can really feel the dynamic tightening and strengthening and toning of the abdominal muscles that this exercise provides. Yes, this is an ab workout as well as an internal workout, okay? So, here we go once again. There's the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back and inhale. Exhaling out and in through the nostrils. Take the final exhalation. Extend it. Squeeze the abdominal muscles. Squeeze. Squeeze. And hold. Resist the urge to inhale. Keep those muscles tight. Go ahead and breathe. You should have really felt the tightening and the strengthening of the, of the abdominal muscles. Now when you isolate tension in any muscle, it's called isometric. Basically you're isolating tension and which causes a toning of the muscles. They call it isometric because the whole metric is the measuring of the tightening of the muscles. Isotoning because it's isolating and it's toning. This will help maintain the strength of the abdominal muscles. This is a good core exercise. Um, just now we did 120 instead of 90. I went a little faster, so we increased the amount of uh, repetitions. So, once again, Breathmaster Aaron Motley here, your global community elder. Join me for Breath of Fire Wednesdays once again. I did three. I uh, came in at three o'clock this afternoon, and it seems like we have more people watching. So I may just move that uh, regular time from two o'clock to three o'clock, and uh, see if we can get more people in here, so that more people can have this opportunity to grow in their awareness of self, self, and strengthening the toning of their body, and getting into their body, so they can get out of their mind and into their spirit. So I thank you all for joining. I appreciate you all, and we will be back next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Peace and blessings.